Hi guys, my name is John Rips, and tonight I'm going to be taking you guys eye and eye diving. Since Long War 2 came out, there have been a lot of people wondering what to do with their day one supply. And one obvious option is to contact the black market and buy an engineer or a scientist. Now, I want to explain to you how important it is to scan with your Avenger at your Haven starting at day one, which is the big factor that prevents that from being a good play, especially in high difficulties. But it's not really fair for me to just say that. I want to actually prove my point. So bear with me. That's where we're going to be headed. Right now, I'm in the activities INI file of the Long War config subfolder. And we're looking specifically at the political prisoners activity entry, which stipulates a few things about the activity which in game is called jailbreak or rescue resistance contacts. Some of these are about actually spawning the activity, which I'm not going to talk about too much tonight. Suffice to say, at the start of the game, there's going to be one in your starting region. The stuff that we care more about is stuff like duration underscore hours, duration rand underscore hours, discovery percent chance per day per 100 mission income. <laughs> oh, what does that mean? Let's find out. What you're looking at right now is some code that I've written, which takes those numbers from the INI, chews them up, and spits out a distribution of how long you're going to have remaining on the mission when it's detected. And now, if you want to see a very basic breakdown of what's going on here, I recommend checking out my Detecting Missions tutorial from my Tutorials playlist. I'm not going to go super in deep with this code, but for those of you who are curious, it's right here. You can read it and see exactly how these things work. What we care about right now is the output of that code, which you can see presented here in a fairly simple spreadsheet format, which you'll find linked below the video. You can see that with just the two level one rebels on Intel that you start the campaign with, you're going to be detecting jailbreaks very infrequently. And when you do, they're usually not going to have very good mission durations left on them. You won't be able to send a strong squad to these and achieve 100% infiltration. If we set all of our level one rebels to Intel at the start of the campaign, we're now detecting jailbreaks almost all of the time and getting good six plus day durations on them over 40% of the time, which is a huge improvement, I'm sure you'll all agree. Getting these day one missions is a big boon to the start of the campaign, and it's well worth setting all of our rebels on Intel to ensure that we have the best chance possible to do so. That wasn't the question though. The question was, should we be sending our Avenger to scan at the black market and pick up an engineer at the start of the campaign? And I wanted to show you guys how big a deal it was to miss out on Haven scanning time with our Avenger. At the start of a campaign, an Avenger is worth four level one rebels worth of Intel. And that's a huge amount. We only have six level one rebels in our entire resistance. You can see here that if we're scanning with the Avenger at the Haven as well, we're detecting jailbreaks almost 70% of the time with six or more days remaining on them. Given how important it is to get good missions to send our soldiers on to start leveling up and picking up loot to sell for supply and picking up experience and rewards and maybe dying a little bit, hopefully not though, you can see how important it is to be scanning with the Avenger at your Haven at the start of the campaign. And I highly recommend doing it nonstop until you have soldiers deployed on all of the missions which are available in the region. There should be three. Unfortunately, that's all the INI &I diving I have time for tonight. Um, I'm sure there will be lots of questions and please direct them at me so that I know what you guys want answered in the next episode of INI &I Diving with Joan Rips. Uh, let me know if you like the format of these videos also and let me know which parts of the INIs and game code you would like to see explored more so that I can have a good idea of where to go next. Please subscribe on YouTube, follow me on Twitch, check out the highlights of my Twitch campaigns. We've just beaten a Legend Iron Man campaign, and that was pretty exciting and pretty cool, and we're on our way to another, I think. And in general, just say hi. I love talking to you guys, and I love playing this awesome game with you all. That's it for me for tonight. John Ribs out. Have an awesome rest of your day.